what do you think are some of the main issues that like kids now are struggling with? Main issues. Um, probably one big one is role models. I feel like kids just don't have good role models anymore. I mean, I, I do feel like role models are there, but they're not enough of them and they're not centered enough for kids to really pick out. Yeah. But, uh, a really general thing I feel like kids just don't really know who they are They're trying to find themselves yeah and everything and this and that so uh, I feel like if they really knew who they were and who they were supposed to be and and, and what they're supposed to be um, and what they want God who God thinks they are mm-hmm. uh, that'd be huge With life in your way and stuff, like, <clears throat> what do you think the standards? Um, what do you think the standards are for being a Christian band? Um, I think the standards should be as high as it is, as it is in the Bible, as it is in Scripture. What we, you know, the bar is way up here, and so often bands, you know, we're a Christian band, or even hey, I'm a Christian dude, but. And do these things that are totally contrary to it. And it's really I mean the best thing that I could that I could say it's black and white is that being a Christian is like Jesus and being not like that is being like the world. <laughs> <laughs> and bands I mean bands got you know, we all struggle. Yeah. But uh it's a tough life, like being out on tour, playing shows. You have all these eyes on you, and like you want to take all the credit. Yeah. And you want to try to be the cool dude by saying cool stuff. Uh, it's a hard thing, but but uh, it's a big responsibility. Yeah, don't you think that like Christian bands, if they're gonna label themselves with Christ's name, that there's more of a, a bigger responsibility and, and almost being judged a little a little more harsh than than just being a Christian dude that's that's just in a band because I mean essentially I would think that if you're if you're gonna have Christ's name involved in it that you would expect that it would be a ministry yeah you should be sold out I mean decisions in the band um, decisions on stage decisions you know at a show hanging out. It should be sold out decisions. It shouldn't be focused, just focused on money. It shouldn't be just focused on popularity. They should be sold out. They should, you know, your, your mind should be set uh, on the Lord and, and who He has, you know, for you to talk to or, or you know, your actions, all the above. Yeah. I, I've always tried to be encouraging and take some bold stands, you know, on my lyrics. Uh, this album is going to be even more encouraging, even more bold. Uh, I would love the kids, I would love fans, anybody who hears the record, to come away with a better sense of <clears throat> who God is, some, some scriptural points, um, and even looking at us and other bands like us, and you know that that you can have a full, awesome, fruitful, fun life following the Lord. Mm-hmm. Um, if kids can if kids can come away with that, it'd be great. If you could give a personal message of hope to to kids, uh, believers and non-believers, in like thirty seconds, what? What would you say to him? I've been learning a lot, and this reverts back to your first question. I've been learning a lot about knowing who you are. And I feel like if you don't know who you are and know why you're placed, you know, in the community that you have, in the community maybe that you should be in, 
um, you're really missing out on true life. So uh, I know that uh, the kids really find who they are, and, uh, and I think and God knows that. And, uh, so search out God.